Hello friends, this is Rob. I'm very honored and privileged to be where I am today. I'm at the gravesite of Bob Ross, the painter of The Joy of Painting. And uh, it's really, it really is quite an honor to be here today because not only did, did Bob bring us uh, all of his painting, but he was also the father of ASMR, which uh, if you're not familiar with ASMR, you can run a search here at YouTube for ASMR. There are a series of relaxing videos uh, to allow people who've been traumatized or experienced some type of stress in their life. It's just a great tool to help them relax and decompress so that they can find some solace. But anyways, Bob is really the, the precursor the, of, all the, of all the current ASMR artists on YouTube. Bob was the precursor. He was the one who really kind of developed the genre in the early 80s with the, the joy of painting. And then later in the United Kingdom, there was a, a hypnotherapist there, Linda Hudson, spelled with a Y, Linda with a Y. She also was kind of like considered the mother of ASMR. And then later we have all the, the people now who are, are quite good at it. They excel. And there's a lot of great artists out there. So I'm kind of making this video now in, in two capacities. I wanted to show you Bob's headstone and where he's buried, but also to credit him not only with his great painting, but with also being the father of ASMR. And again, for, for combat veterans and anybody who's been traumatized, uh, ASMR can be quite, quite a relief to, to decompress and de-stress. So we can't overlook his accomplishments in that regard. So let me, I'm going to stop the video here. I'll take it off the tripod and then I'll show you his headstone and the, uh, and the surroundings. Oh, but I forgot to cover the, the physical address to his grave. It's Woodlawn Cemetery. The, if you plug this into your GPS, both of these, 400 Woodlawn Cemetery Road, Gotha, Florida, 34734. That'll get you to the main gate. Then also plug these coordinates in, and these will bring you right to his headstone. And if you, it's in your GPS. If you dig in the custom menus, you'll find where you can enter latitude and longitude in your GPS. So enter north, 28 degrees, 32 minutes. 3.3 seconds and west 81 degrees 30 minutes 43.8 seconds and that's on the road and I'll show you the road here in a second but it's literally probably 15 feet from his headstone so if you plug in these coordinates it'll basically bring you within 15 feet of this headstone okay I'll take the camera off tripod now and show you the headstone and the surrounding area Okay, so when you find this, this statuary here in the, in the background, let me come in close on it. Okay, so you can see, now if you do basically a 180, and you find this in the distance, this marker in the distance, Bob is on a straight line between the two monuments, okay? If you draw a straight line between the two monuments, you'll quite literally walk right across Bob's headstone. So here's his here's his headstone. It just is obviously there's an image of Bob, then his name, his birth date, October 29, 1942, his date of death, Independence Day, 1995. I mean for the US that is obviously. And uh, the vase or vase, however you want to pronounce it for the flowers. And somebody here, I thought this was a really nice touch, somebody visiting brought a little squirrel it's a a nice little memento so whoever the fan was that did that that was a nice touch we can all remember the episode where Bob had a little baby squirrel in his pocket and he painted with the little squirrel in his pocket um, so I'll just give you a head a uh, close-up here so again you can see if I come up there's that monument in the distance and if I swing around this way and come up there's that other monument so again if you if you don't have a GPS if you find these two monuments you can find yourself by just terrain association okay so if you don't have a GPS you can still find it by the method I just showed you
And just to let you know, so whoever put this squirrel there, I will return this squirrel as soon as I'm done with the video. I just wanted to uh, clean Bob's headstone. It was quite dirty. And I wanted to turn that vase upside down so to get rid of that shadow that was obscuring his, his uh, portrait on the headstone. About to wrap up I'm going to get a, a tracing of, of Bob's grave I brought some tracing paper and some charcoal pencils and I, just before I leave I'm going to trace his portrait in the in his name okay so I just wanted to show you the tracing I'm no artist by any means but I just thought I'd show you the tracings here this is his portrait and I got his name too so I just wanted to get this while I was here. I'm going to frame these and put them in my house. Just as a memento to the, the visit. I'll give these to my daughter much later in life. Something struck me on the visit is that uh, I wanted to show you this. And if you'll notice, it's a single solitary tree. And we know in Bob's painting style, Bob rarely painted anything by itself. Uh, he always wanted a friend, you know. Remember, everything had a friend in Bob's painting, so it wouldn't be alone. And again, that's what made him such an exception, exceptional man, is that he craftily wove into his uh, on-air segments and his paintings uh, life's affirmations, right, about not being alone, having a friend. This is almost like a form of steganography. Bob craftily wove into his episodes is that we all need a friend. So yet Bob, here Bob lies in the cemetery. I'll give you a quick pan. He lies under a single solitary tree. I mean, there's nothing you know else in proximity. So I thought if he wouldn't have painted in this style, then why is he resting in this style? So I think I'm actually going to contact the, the cemetery. Um, maybe we can start some type of online petition or some type of online campaign to get another tree planted next to this one uh, so this tree has a friend right because this is this is kind of the ultimate injustice to Bob Ross is to be lying near a single solitary tree as strange as that may sound it's it's so antithetical to his painting 